like I told my last wife, I said, honey, I never drive faster than I can see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. His name is Jack Burton, and although he has all the makings of being a hero, he isn't quite there yet. Safety. Oh, yeah. Wait! Kurt Russell plays Jack Burton, an unlikely hero who finds himself in circumstances beyond his wildest imagination. He's a blustery sort of uh, blowhard who uh, has a, a lot of self-assurance and it really is not too handy. <laughs> I think he's a lot of fun because he gets himself in a lot of trouble, gets out of it, but not the way that he thought he was going to get out of it. Follow the leader. One, two, three. We may be trapped. I would start it right here. Should be here. Off throw. Okay. Throw and as he comes in to hit him, I would pull back like this. Got it. Okay. Yeah. The movie is Big Trouble in Little China, directed China by John Carpenter. Okay. Best known for the horror classic Halloween, the critically acclaimed Escape from New York, and the Oscar-nominated Starman. Big Trouble in Little China is my 11th film as a director, and it is a action, adventure, comedy, kung fu, ghost story, monster movie, everything you can imagine. This story takes place at modern day times in a big city in the United States, and what we do with the audience is start them in reality and slowly take them into the fantasy. And it's an incorporation of uh, kind of American sensibilities and Chinese mythologies. It all begins when the Lords of Death kidnap the fiance of Jack's friend, Wang Chi, played by Dennis Dunn. I don't think I'm so much a psychic as we're, we're, we're kind of like two guys together. Like, like in the tradition of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Because Cassidy, we're, you, you could tell we, we like each other, but we're always going, what are you doing? Come on. Also at Jack's side is Chinatown lawyer Gracie Law, played by Kim Cattrall. Hey! Sorry. Sorry, I'm just thrilled to be alive. Yeah, sure. Let's go. We always do get along, but we're just two completely different kind of people. He he sees things and approaches things from a very physical point of view, whereas I approach things from a very mental point of view. They took the key. Don't you have a spare? Of course I do, but it's underneath the... Oh. Hang on! I don't understand why he can't just think or he can't just realize how it's going to work. Sorry. So there is clashes and, of course, attraction involved with that as well as life will have it. Joining our trio in this action-packed adventure is fashion model Susie Pye as the kidnapped fiancé. Stage and television actress Kate Burton makes her feature film debut as an eager but inexperienced reporter. Victor Wong portrays the mysterious magician Egg Shen. Cheers! And James Hong is his mortal enemy, the most feared figure in Chinese legend, David Lo Pan. The 2,000-year-old man that's the David Lopan that has traveled through the history of China all, over 2,000 years, uh, looking for this girl with the green eyes, you know, and just keep looking, and he's looking constantly for... It gets kind of tired after 2,000 years. Very quiet, please. Mark. Action. Rigorous physical demands were required of all the actors in order to make their way through the treacherous world beneath Chinatown. Every day on the set, Dennis Dunn practiced martial arts in preparation for fight sequences against creatures both real and unreal. For once our band of adventurers enter the domain of David Lopin, they find big trouble waiting around every corner. The fantastical creatures and visual effects were created under the watchful eye of Academy Award winner Richard Edlund, who reached into the world of Chinese mythology for his inspiration. Action! Oh! 
The Chinese culture is one of the oldest cultures in the world, and they have an enormous, an enormously interesting background of demons, myths, and so on. And uh, since they've had a number of thousands of years to refine all of this, you know, we're getting, uh, in the 20th century, we get the distillation of millennia of Chinese uh, fantasy. What's happening, Wang? Chinese standoff. A what? Don't make a sound. To ensure authenticity, a large cast and crew of Asian Americans were assembled, offering expertise ranging from martial arts instruction to knowledge of Chinese legend. The most unpredictable characters from Chinese mythology are the three storms, thunder, lightning, and rain. A powerful trio who packed some unusual weaponry and who presented the greatest challenge to costume designer April Ferry, who also created James Hong's elaborate robes and Susie Pye's traditional wedding attire. I just wanted to kind of create something that was authentic looking, but that was still really a fantasy. And the most challenging one to make was the bamboo armor because it is authentic, that bamboo. But to figure out how it must have been done years ago and how we could do it now and still have the actor be able to move in it. And each actor would come in and they'd do their martial arts kicks and we would adjust the costume to their needs. But I think the biggest challenge of all is, is the overview of all this, is to pack all this in a little compartment, juggling all these elements, the elements of fantasy and comedy and action. It's got suspense and thrills and chills and all that, but this is, to me, basically a good, fun time. You get your five bucks worth. You go in, lay it down, and come out, and I think you'll come out smiling and you've had a good time. A hell of a wild ride. <laughs> I feel much better now. I really do. Bye, Jack. We really shook the pillars of heaven, didn't we, Wang? No horse shit, Jack. No horse shit. Hey, Jack, deal with the faults of others as gently as with your own. You just listen to the old pork chop express here now and take his advice on a dark and stormy night when the lightning's crashing and the thunder's rolling and the rain's coming down and sheep's thick as lead. Just remember what old Jack Burton does when the earth quakes and the poison arrows fall from the sky and the pillars of heaven shake. 
Yeah, Jack Burton just looks that big old storm right square in the eye and he says, give me your best shot, pal. I can take it. Yeah. <laughs>